guys, it is Lynn with Littlefoot Nursery. I am here to do, finally, a comparison video between my two Molinas by Andrea Archella. They are both full body silicone baby girls. They are twins and um, they are the same sculpt. Um, both uh, sculpted after my daughter Audrey, um, her portrait baby when she was a baby. And um, I just thought I would shoot a video just to kind of show you guys you know, kind of compare and contrast um, how they're similar or different. And um, I still can't believe I bought um, this Molina <laughs> recently because um, as you guys know, um, my, uh, my Aria is um, the original um, Molina. Uh, you know, she's the very first one. And then I believe um, this one was the second one. Um, they are both called prototypes, and I think the reason for that, um, Jasmine once messaged me wondering kind of um, how that worked, because I guess there were, um, in addition to um, uh, my Aria, there were two prototypes. There's this this Molina, and then there was a darker Molina that was poured. So I think, I think the reason that this one was also considered a prototype is because she was poured all in one piece, and then... Um, my uh, my Aria has a ball jointed neck, so she can like turn her head, which is actually really nice, especially when you're trying to pose them for photos. Um, Aria needs a little bit of powdering. Um, you can tell her she has a few, couple shiny spots, so she's gonna need to be powdered. I'll probably need to do that soon. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then Melina is um, she she's she looks great still. No no need to powder her. Um, so. Yeah, it is so cool to see them together. Like I haven't, this is my first time actually having them both out at the same time. And now you guys know when I was doing that video where I was talking about expecting a new silicone baby that it actually was um, Aria's twin. So, and yeah, I decided to keep her name as, um, as Melina just because I couldn't think of a more appropriate name. I I really think, um, I really love them both. They, they do look a little, di they do look different to me. I think it's very easy to tell them apart. And I think that's the beauty of, um, you know, these babies. It, they are one of a kind pieces of art. No two are exactly the same, you know, whether they be reborns or silicones, even if they're the same sculpt. So that's what makes this hobby really cool. And, you know, there's, even if they're done by the same artist, the artist cannot replicate exactly what they did before. It's just not possible. So, um, so yeah, I, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I see some differences like with the hair, like for example, you can see the hairline. Hers just kind of goes all the way and then hers has a little bit of a more sparsely rooted part. And I almost wondered if it was like painted, partially painted hair. It looks like it could be, I, I, I can't tell. Um, the eyebrows for both are definitely painted, but yeah, they, they definitely look, even though they are the same sculpt, they definitely look different. Now I thought, um, I thought that this, uh, the new Melina had a, a little bit of a, like the way her face was proportioned and her head shape and everything I thought looked more close to Audrey than, than my Aria, but yeah, it's uh, but it's neat, you know, kind of seeing them both together and getting to compare. Um, unfortunately, I have I have um, Melina in the sleeper, so it's hard to like really compare, but you guys get the idea. Yeah, and she, she has some shiny spots. She really needs to be powdered, so I'll probably do a video um, doing that. But anyway, at the time of filming this, by the time you guys see it, it will be way after my birthday, but it's just a couple days before my birthday, and I can I wanted to share some exciting news that um, the swap baby, I'm doing a swap baby with one of my friends from Facebook, my, one of my Dolly friends, who's also an artist, and we are painting babies for each other. Um, she is painting um, the Jewels kit by Sandy Faber for me, and I am painting the Ashley kit um, for her. So um, so it's really, really exciting. And um, she is, she, she has more time to paint than I do. So she is, and she, she might even be faster than me, but she's all done with her baby. And I am, um, I just painted the hair tonight on her Ashley. So I will be excited to, um, 
you know, kind of get her baby finished, but her baby is already, the baby she did for me is already on the way. So I'm super excited. She should be coming tomorrow. Um, and so I will have um, a box opening for you guys soon. I just can't even believe with all the new babies joining the nursery, there's still, uh, there's still another. And, um, and then I also got my birthday coupon from Paradise Galleries. So of course I had to go and order a doll because the birthday coupon is only good for 30 days. So you have to use it. Otherwise you, it's not valid later in the year. But look, look at these two. They're so cute. Yeah, but I, um, I have to say between the two, it's terrible to pick a favorite because they're both beautiful, but I have to say, I really love, um, I really love this Melina. I, I like having her neck all in one piece and I just like her coloring. It's just, it's more pale. It looks very, it looks closer to how Audrey looked as a baby because she, ha she was just a very pale, um, fair skinned um, little, little baby, you know, when she was young. So this just seems like it resembles her a little bit more, but, um, but yeah, I, I'm glad I have both of them. I, I've been thinking about whether I want to do an outing, uh, and I, maybe I should start with a reborn outing. It's just a little bit easier. Um, but if I were to do an outing with a silicone baby, I would probably pick one of these two girls just because, um, you know, first of all, I think with sleeping, with them sleeping, it's easier to pass off as a real baby. Um, but the one thing is the mouth is closed and I don't believe it's magnetized. So she would not be able to take a pacifier, which I think, you know, might be a little bit more challenge or challenging or tricky with the realism. Um, because you'll, people will eventually kind of see the baby's not moving. So I, uh, so I don't know about that, but I have also just kind of thought about, well, Obviously, she looks like my daughter because she's um, a portrait baby of my daughter. So I think from that perspective, you know, it'd be a little bit easier as well to pass her off as real. But anyway, I I want to get more brave with the outings, you guys. I just haven't worked up the nerve yet. And it's hard to find the time, too, because I've been just so busy at work and, you know, busy painting, you know, when I'm not at work. And, you know, and I need downtime as well and just time to hang out with the kids and enjoy them. So... Um, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys just some of the, some of the differences. Yeah. The main one being, you know, this is a ball jointed neck and it's not in one piece with um, my prototype, um, Melina. And then this Melina does have, sorry for the lighting, you guys, she does have the neck that's all in one piece. Hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah, but she's really beautiful. And, and I was amazed. I keep seeing like Melina is more rare because there's only 10 of her that were made. Um, but I do see Emery May come up for sale, you know, fairly, fairly often. I think there were, I want to say at least 25 Emery Mays that were made. Um, there might be even more than that. So, so they're, they're two and a half times more common than, you know, Melina. So that's why you don't see as many Melinas, you know, out on the secondary market. But the Emery Mays um, that I've seen you know, lately are selling for like an amazingly good price. So, so, and I think it's because, you know, with some of the newer innovations in silicone, the EcoFlex, just the regular EcoFlex 20 babies seem like they're comparatively speaking more affordable. Um, but you know, and, and I, I just feel like right now the demand is for that super soft silicone and it's driving the prices of those babies really high because not all the artists are doing it yet. And, um, yeah, I, th I think there was a time when like EcoFlex 20 was like the latest thing and the people who were doing EcoFlex 50, for example, um, the, you know, the artists who initially first started doing the EcoFlex 20 babies, these babies probably felt so soft and look, and don't, you know, this is still a very soft, um, it's still a very soft silicone, you know, like if you guys feel it, but, um, it's not like the same softness as baby Lynn or baby Maggie in my collection. So that's where I do notice a difference. And I, I think that it's just interesting seeing this hobby evolve. Um, gosh, she is so, so pretty. I, I, I'm just so happy with my collection right now. And, um, and I'll admit I was sitting here and kind of feeling like, Oh, I really want Ella by Jenny Lee. And I really want that Asian Ella that she's painting right now. But, but I know she'll probably go on eBay or close bidding. And I don't know if I'm going to win her or not. I hope she does close bidding instead of eBay. I just feel like with eBay, 
the prices go crazy and it just makes it so hard to afford. Um, whereas with closed bidding, you know, I at least have a chance I can submit, you know, my best offer and, you know, hope that it gets accepted. So, um, but anyway, I, you know, I have like multiple reasons why I really want to adopt Je that baby from Jenny. I was thinking it would be so much fun to go pick it up in person. I could totally do a video for you guys for the channel, maybe even do a video where I interview Jenny. But um, anyway, she doesn't live too far from me here in Southern California. So I thought that could be really, really fun. But um, but yeah, I'll be so sad if I can't get Asianella. I just really like that baby. But um but I just have to be thankful and, you know, I, I have, you know, such, I have a wonderful collection. I'm so, um, I'm so happy with all the babies in my nursery. I think honestly, even like one of these babies would be, you know, is, is just an awesome dream baby, you know? So I really have nothing to complain about, but anyway, I just thought I would um, share that with you guys and just some of the things that are on my mind and yeah, but I, I, yeah, I think they're so cute together. I, I probably should take a picture with um, my two Emery Mays too. So Olivia and Isla and kind of get one with all four of them. But that feels like a lot of setup and I'm just not like ready to do that right now. But definitely something I'd like to do. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, comment and share. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.